Dear students and viewers, as I discussed in the previous class about the growth mechanism of a chimpling, I discussed three parameters that is growth mechanism of thin film. So, in the previous class, I discussed three important concepts. One is the absorption of the atom on the surface of the substrate. Then, the absorption of the atom oxygen on the surface of the substrate is start diffusing, that is the surface diffusion. And finally, that I discussed in the previous class is about the formation of bond between the atom of the surface and the which is incoming atom and the formation of a thin layer. After that, there is an another important mechanism that is going on on the growth of a thin film is nothing but the nucleation. So the next step is called as the nucleation. Now I have to make understand you what is nucleation. As you know, a substrate is available. A substrate is available. The atom which is incoming atom is start form the bond between the surface of the substrate and what I can call the incoming atom. Now, a stage is reached where you have more than one atom on the surface of the substrate. Now, what happens? For the process of growth of the thin film, the initial initiating point or called as the point where you need some type of energy that makes these atoms to start forming together. So more than one atom, if you join together, one atom is there, another atom will come, it will call a dimer, eh? dimer and trimer, polymer, like that it will go on and finally it will form a group of atoms whose size should be a critical size, whose size should be a some critical size. What happened? After this critical size, this is not not attracting this atom and this critical size is actually called as an embryo. So what is embryo? Embryo is nothing but a critical size up to which there is a certain amount of atom hold together and these atom act as a forming nature or a growing place or a growing point on the surface of the substrate. So this embryo is acting as a side where the other atom which is coming from the in the form of a vapor from the other source is start attracting and this point where it is start from an embryo this we call as the nucleation. So in order to happen nucleation what you need? You need of a critical size of the group of atom then it, the region where it forms a critical size that is going to happen only when if the Gibbs energy is favorable. What it means? The regions of the formation of these n number of atoms is going to be thermodynamically stable. Thermodynamically. Thermodynamically stable. What it means? It means the atom which came from the vapor is attracted on the surface by the three mechanism and it start forming an embryo at the nucleation point. That going to happen only when the surface energy on that surface is such that it will be overtake any repulsion forces or the Gibbs energy is favorable so that it can start forming the nucleation. So then what are the parameters involved? in order to have a good nucleation. If I say the nucleation is just going to be a two type, three or type. One we call as the homogeneous nucleation and another we call as the one we call as the homogeneous and another we call as the heterogeneous. What is homogeneous nucleation? The process where the nucleation is going to take place between the same types of substrate and the incoming atom. Where the region where it forms the embryo or the nucleation point and the surface having the same type of atom that we call it the homogeneous nucleation. Whereas if the nucleation is taking place on the different substrate, then what we call it is a heterogeneous nucleation. There are two different types of nucleation. Uh, 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 nucleation. Now, what are the parameters that is important in order to have a parameters? in order to have a good nucleation. As we know, 
the heat is the building for anything and one of the parameters that is going to affect more is nothing but the heat energy. So the parameter that is going to affect only the heat energy is nothing but the surface temperature of the surface. Surface temperature, surface temperature of what? Surface temperature of substrate. Substrate. So surface temperature of substrate is going to play a very critical role in the process of formation of nucleation. So what happens surface temperature? If the surface temperature is such that the incoming vapor, if the surface temperature is much high, what happens? The incoming vapor has to again it will evaporate. The temperature should maintain what is the critical temperature where what happens? The energy is needed, the required energy is sufficient in order to store the formation of end growth. So we have to keep in mind during the growth of a thin film, the surface temperature is going to play an important role because the vapor which is already coming is also at some high temperature. Now it is facing an interface. At this region, if it finds the higher temperature, what happens? The atom will get more energy and it will start going away. Now the surface temperature should be maintained such that these atoms which are incoming should be attracted, should be diffused, start bonding formation so that the embryo formation is going to take place. So that is one of the important parameters about the nucleation process. The second step that <coughs> the second step that is going to be important role is nothing but the reflex of incoming atom or you can call it the deposition, deposition of atoms or you can say the deposition of atoms or the deposition rate. What it means? Here, what happened? The atoms that are coming, if you say, if the pro atom is such that a huge amount of atoms, say that we call it flux, if a huge amount of flow of atoms are incoming on the surface of the substrate, then what happens? On the surface, the energy is not sufficient, so what happens? Most of the atoms will get evaporated, excluded. Now, we have to fix the incoming flow of atoms such that these atoms are get attracted. So what happens in order to have the formation of an embryo or in order to have the good nucleation, you must have control over the flow of atom, otherwise it is called as the deposition rate. If the deposition rate is much much higher, then the nucleation is going to be slower. So you have to maintain such that the deposition should be in control such that you have a good nucleation throughout the region. If the nucleation is happened perfectly, then what happens? Then the defects that are going to happen at the interface is going to be minimal. So one of the key parameters in any crystal growth or any formation of material is the nucleation process. So in the nucleation process, what you have to take care? You have to take care about the energy, that is the heat. So what is where we have to take control of the heat energy? We have to take control of heat energy in both the side. One is from the substrate side and another is from the incoming flux. That is the number of atoms that is entering the growth region. If you maintain the temperature thermodynamically favorable, if you maintain the temperature thermodynamically favorable, then it is start forming the embryo. Once it is start forming the embryo, what happens? The other embryo is joined and it starts the formation of a nucleation process. Once the nucleation process is started, then what happens? It is start growing the layer. Once one layer is formed, then those atoms which are coming, it will be easily attracted by the layer of nucleation place, then it will be start growing. Like that, you can start growing thin film. So, one of the important part of the growth of thin film is the nucleus, as I discussed. So, what are the parameters that it should be remembered in the nucleation process? One is the surface temperature of the substrate, and another is 
the deposition rate or the flux that is the incoming atom. If you have the control over both these parameters, then you can easily grow a layer of thin film. So how it will appear right after that? After the nucleation mechanism, the substrate will be there. Then what happens? A layer of atoms of uniform thickness will be available. So for example, if you take this is the substrate of any material, say for example, Al2O3 called as this affair, over which I grow the layer of some atoms, some deposited layer, say for example, silicon or you can say gallium nitrate, some types of semiconducting materials. Then what happens? This will start having the structure of a thin layer of growth materials. And the thickness of this material, as I mentioned in earlier class, it should be of the order of around micrometer. Now, why this we call as a thin film? Because if I deposit the thickness of the growing material more than one micron or some higher amount, they start happening a cracks on the surface of the thin film which is deposited. So, in order to avoid the cracks, in order to avoid the cracks that are going to generate on the surface of the thin film, I have to limit the growth such that there should be no cracks on the surface. If in my time there is no crack on the surface of the thin film which is grown, then I notice that the thickness of this grown layer is of the order of micron. That is why this will be called as a thin film. So this is an important part of thin film growth where the nucleation is happening. Then what are the parameters you have to remember that I discuss in this class. So in the next class I am going to see one more important parameters that involves for the growth of thin film. Thank you.